Hey everyone, Frankie here. Welcome back to Frankie's Cantonese Book Reviews. Today I'm not going to be talking about a book, but it's something that's closely related to books that you can use to improve your Cantonese. And that is this. Flashcards of Trendy Expressions in Hong Kong Cantonese Volume 2. Hong Kong Um, I bought these at Goods of Desire for $78. Goods of Desire is like this really popular, I guess it's, you could say it's like a furniture and miscellaneous stuff shop that's in Hong Kong. It's very popular. They sell a lot of things that are very, very Cantonese. Um, I recommend that you check them out. I'll post a link to the website in the description. Those, that place is great. Um, so what are these cards? Well, they look like this. Um, here's one. Uh, they usually show a picture and then it will have a, a Cantonese slang expression with the pinionization on the bottom, so the romanization. They use uh, what's called yutpeng, which is one of the uh, styles of pinion, the, basically the styles of romanizing uh, Cantonese sounds into English. It's not the most popular one right now, but it's okay. Um, I typically use Yale, but whatever. So this this one is pronounced as tok lam, tok lam, uh, and it, it's translated as poisonous man. Uh, if you turn the card around, it gives you, try to steady it for you, it basically gives you on top um, a definition of what it means, a direct translation on top, which is the poison man, uh, two definitions, and then uh, an English definition, and then on the bottom it gives you a usage. Uh, sometimes it us well, usually gives you two different usages, but this card, I don't know why it does, doesn't. Um, so this one here is an insulting word meaning someone who is completely obsessed with something like watching anime, playing video games, surfing the internet and etc. Um, this is a really popular expression in Hong Kong. Although I don't really hear the lam as much anymore, now I hear something that's a little bit more um, rude. They say tok lan, and tok lan means like poisonous penis. And that one seems to be more popular now. I don't know. Sorry to, you know, swear, but that's that's the expression now. Here's another really popular one everyone knows. Here we go. <laughs> gong lu, gong lu. Um, gong lu, we all know this one, right? Hong Kong girl uh, and we know what's expected by those Hong Kong girls so you can see here there's like a picture of a Hong Kong girl and she's uh, so here's like give me <laughs> give me a million dollars um, and you can see here direct translation Kong girl uh, there's a definition two definitions an English definition and two sentences of usage uh, material girls or guys who fall in love with guys only for his money Oh, girl or girl. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's a pretty accurate description. Hong Kong, Gong Lu. For those of you who who remember my other videos, I you know I have this book up here, which I kind of talked about this. Oh, wrong side. Gong Lu, Gong Lu. So, I guess you know this book would be about this type of girl, which is kind of funny, right? Um, another one that's really popular is this one here. Gong Chu Bang. Um, there are videos about this one online, so I'm sure you guys can uh, look that up. Just type in Gong Chu Bang on the internet and you'll find it. See here, princess syndrome or princess sickness, and females who think that they are better than everyone else, females who claim to deserve supreme aristocratic rights from partners. <laughs> it's very funny. Um, lots of uh, lots of Gong Lu have Gong Chu Bang, so. You know, these cards, I guess, can go together. But, um, so what else? Well, this set also comes with this little book. And the book has, like, all of the different expressions that are inside, uh, that are on the cards. And you can write them. I don't, you know, it's, it's just a novelty type thing. And then it explains a little bit in, in more detail um, what it means and stuff like that on this page. And then on the other page, you can just write it. Um, that's pretty much all this is. And it also comes with, um... A board for like a board game I guess you can somehow play a board game with these cards I don't know how but um, here's the board game here and it comes with you know comes with little pieces and a, and a dice so you can I don't know play some sort of board game I have no idea how to play it so this particular set comes with I think uh, 40 42 cards uh, 42 actual cards of expressions. I think there's like 45 cards in the entire set. There's a card that explains the author. His name is So Real Real. Um, so Tan Tan, I guess his name is in Cantonese. 
And uh, these cards were published in 2009, and the full retail price is 78 Hong Kong dollars. So if you could find it for anything less than 78, I would say definitely get it, because that's the price it usually goes for. Like I said, I bought these at Goods of Desire in um, in uh, the one, I think it was the one in um, Team Sacha, in TST, Team Sacha, uh on Kowloon side, obviously, for those of you who don't know Hong Kong. You can find these cards online if you look. There are the first, this is actually the second set, but there's, the first set is impossible to find. I don't even own them, and I've really been looking for them. I really want them, but I can't find them anywhere, and I have no friends who have bought them. They were so hot back in, like, I think 2007, 2008, maybe 2008, 2009. They were really, really hot, and, uh, you know, I didn't learn about them until later, and I was never able to find the set. But I did get these when I was in Hong Kong in 2012, which was last summer. I know they're still popular, and they still sell them there. So, um... I definitely recommend um, you know looking them up. I'll post a link in the description to a Facebook page that has the entire first set of cards online, so you can look at them and say, "Oh wow, those are cool." And if you really want, you can try to find them. But um, I really do recommend these. These are great for everyone. I mean, they're funny. Um, the slang is pretty current. The pictures are funny. Uh, the explanations are good. I mean, English speakers, Chinese speakers, uh, you know, Cantonese speakers who don't know the the most recent slang, American-born Chinese. These cards basically can can work for anybody, and they're funny and they're great. And I, like I said, I definitely recommend them. You know, for for ten bucks, it's it's worth it. Um, and then, so that's it. So please, as always, like my video if you uh, if you like the review. Uh, I make them for you guys. You know, not for me. So. Uh, I'd appreciate the likes and always comment if you have any questions. I'll be sure to help you the best that I can. Um, so that's it. That is flashcards of trendy expressions in Hong Kong Cantonese Volume 2. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.